Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's continue the last session of calendar topic. See here, first question in this session. If seventh day of a month is three days earlier than Friday. Here we are talking about seventh day. Here we are talking about seventh day. Seventh day of a month is three days earlier than Friday. Three days earlier than Friday. It means that uh, what will be the, first of all, uh, the question is uh, what will be the 19th day of that month? First of all, let's take a uh, seventh day of a month is three days earlier than Friday. Let us take this is Friday. Let us take this is Friday, right? Three days earlier than Friday. That means uh, Thursday and next before day that is Wednesday and next before that that is Tuesday. Guys, here also some people will confuse that uh, we have to leave three days uh, and we have to take Monday or else we have to take Tuesday. So many students confused at this point. Three days earlier than Friday. Let us take a small example. One day earlier than Friday. It means that is Thursday. Two days earlier. Wednesday. Three days earlier. That is Tuesday. Here, seventh day of a month. This is seventh day of a month is three days earlier than Friday. Seventh day is Tuesday. If seventh day is Tuesday, automatically 14th day is also Tuesday. 21st day. 21st day is also Tuesday. If 21st day is Tuesday, 21st day is Tuesday, then 20th day, that will be Monday. 20th day that will be Monday and uh, 19th day that will be Sunday. 19th day that will be Sunday. Here the question what he is asking 19th day of the month. What is 19th day of the month which is nothing but uh, Sunday. Guys uh, sometimes uh, some people will take up to here. 7th day and 14th day both are same. Why? Because after every 7 days again the week is repeated. 7th day and 14th day. These two are Tuesdays. And next after that 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You can also take like this. These two are Tuesdays. Now from here onwards this is Wednesday. This is Thursday. This is Friday. This is Saturday and uh, 19th day that is uh, Sunday. You can also take like this or else uh, up to 21st day you can take and later on you can go backward. Why? Because uh, you want 19th day. 19th day is backside of 21st day. So because of that reason you have to go backward. You can go either forward after 14th day or else you can take uh, backward from 21st day. Both will get the same result. Answer is Sunday for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, if the first day of an ordinary year, ordinary year or normal year, both are same. Ordinary year or normal year, both are same, which is not a leap year. Falls on Friday. First day of an ordinary year falls on Friday, then what will be the day on the last day of that year? Guys, one thing you can remember regarding normal year, regarding normal year and uh, second one is leap year. Regarding normal year and uh, second one is uh, leap year. Suppose for example for normal year, first day, this is last day. First day and last day both are same for normal year. But whereas coming to leap year it is not uh, same. Suppose for example first day is Friday here. Here also first day. Let us take for example Friday. For normal year last day will also Friday. Last day will also Friday. 
But whereas coming to leap year, it is not Friday. It is Saturday, last day. You have to be very much careful about these two points. Here, for normal year, starting day and ending day both are same. For normal year, starting day and ending day both are same. But whereas coming to leap year, starting day is Friday. Suppose for example, starting day is x day, then last day will be x plus 1th day x plus 1th day. That means uh, one day after the starting day. One day after the starting day. Here, as we are talking about normal year, as we are talking about normal year, first day is Friday. Obviously, last day is also Friday. Guys, uh, it is better to understand as we are talking about normal year, suppose your birthday falls on January 1st, this year, January 1st, that is Sunday, for example. Next year, your birthday, next year, let us take this is 2021 and 2022. Next year, it will be definitely Monday only. Why? Because uh, if January 1st, this is normal year. If January 1st is uh, Monday, then previous day. Previous day in the year 2021, which is nothing but December 31st, that is the last day, that is Sunday. If January 1st, 2022 was uh, is uh, Monday, automatically December 31st, 2021 will be Sunday. So, January 1st and uh, December 31st, which is uh, First day and last day of the normal year is always uh, same. So, first day and last day both are same for normal year. Whereas coming to leap year, first day, uh, second day, last day will be one day away from first day. Let's move on to the next question. See here, which of the following years is a leap year? As we already discussed regarding leap year, if any number any year is a leap year, that particular year must be divisible by 4. That particular year must be divisible by 4. There is an exception condition. Centuries must be divisible by 400. Centuries must be divisible by 400, but not with 4. Again, I am repeating the same sentence. Here, every number, every year, that number, if that number is divisible by 4, that is a leap year. But there is an exception condition. That is, uh, centuries must be divisible by 400, not with uh, 4. In the given options, there is no century. So, you can directly take the numbers. Uh, and there is no need of dividing entire number with 4. Take only last two digits. Why? Because... Uh, Divisibility rule for 4 is last 2 digits. If last 2 digits are divisible by 4, automatically that number is divisible by 4. 82. 82 is not divisible by 4, so you can eliminate option A. Next, uh, here the last 2 digits, 0, 4. 4 is divisible by 4, therefore 17 not 4, that is a leap year. 17 not 4 is a leap year. Once check it out, is there any other leap years? 78, last two digits in 1978, that is 78. 78 is not divisible by 4. This is not divisible by 4. You can eliminate this option also. Similarly, 54. 54 is also not divisible. So, all these except option B, remaining 3 are normal years. Whereas option B is leap year. So our required answer is 1704. Option B is the right answer. Guys, I hope you enjoy the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.